Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris, and today we're going to take a look at a beer that's not from Niagara Falls. I know, it's crazy. It's freaking pretty crazy that I'm not doing one of the two breweries in Niagara Falls that are actually worth mentioning. Uh, today we are going to take a look at IPA number 15 from Hamilton's Collective Arts. That's right, IPA number 15 is a re-release of a little beer called IPA number five. I've had it once before. I, you know, I never really had a massive obsession with it or anything like that. Rod J knows what I'm talking about. I enjoy a nice IPA number five. Right, Rod? Joe knows what I'm talking about. Chris, what's going on? I didn't see you over there, but you know what I did see? IPA number five. You know, every, all the beer tubing buddies that, you know, we all chat, we, they all know that we, I never had any kind of obsession with IP number five. Not even Redbeard. He didn't even have it either. But uh, apparently this is a highly demanded re-release of IP number five. And it is a rebrew. It says it right here. I don't know what that's going to, there it is. It's a rebrewed IPA number five. Um, this one, uh, well, I might as well read it now. Okay, so IP number 15. It's coming in at 8.2% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can. It's got double, it's a double IPA with uh, Citra and Simcoe hops. That's all it says on the front of the label. I don't believe, I could be wrong, Collective Arts, if you ever get a chance to watch this. and I mean, I could probably look it up, but I'm not too lazy. I don't believe IPA number five had lactose and this one does so if that's the case i don't know why they put lactose in it but maybe ipa number five had lactose so let's see how this one is compared to ipa number five i wish i had another can of ipa number five that was really brewed but this is a rebrew we'll see anyway enough of the intro let's get into this beer uh, it smells like it from here already yeah we're gonna pour it in the taku Oh, looks, looks familiar. So, IP number five. No, nope. had it once in a while, once once or twice. Number fifteen. Let's take a look at it. It's hazy. It's yellow coming through. Um, it's yeah, it's good. There's nothing really floating in here. No particulars or anything. The head again poured off with about a finger and a half ahead. It is sticking around a little bit, but it is slowly dissipating. But we are going to take a smell of this beer. Okay. Simcoe and Citra. Well, it's got all kinds of juice qualities on this one. The Citra, for sure, you're getting an orange and uh, a grapefruit kind of a scent on this one. A little bit of the juice. I am also picking up a little bit of a mango. Probably coming from the Simcoe hops, I think. Yeah, and it's got a little bit of a danky smell. Dank is now, you know, an uncool word, but for if you know what you're, you're, how you're saying it, and people who drink these kind of beers know what, what it means when somebody says dank. The dank smell is kind of like a, it's going to sound like it's off-putting, but it's not really. It's kind of like a wet laundry kind of a smell without, you know. It's, it's hard to explain, but anyway, it's dank. It smells dank. And that's enough of the smell. Anyway, cheers, guys. So let's drink it. Let's try it out. Okay. Like I usually do, I'm going to go with the, with the, um, the body, mouthfeel, and we're going to talk about the ABV. 8.2%. Collective Arts has always had a good way of hiding the high alcohol content in these beers. You can't tell this is 8.2% classifying this as a very, very dangerous beer. Shout out to uh, Guy over at Drinking in Canada. Mouthfeel on this one though, nice. It is what I expect for an 8.2% alcohol beer. It's up there in body. It's sitting on the high end of medium. It's not full body like you know everyone wishes it was, but it's an IPA. You can't really, to get a full body IPA like this, it's got to be a triple. You're, you're going you're gonna to talk. It's got to be over 10% for this to be a full body. But it's getting there. Don't don't get me wrong. It's high end to medium. And so far, so good. Uh, let's talk about the taste. 
Okay, definitely picking up the citra hops. You're getting a lot of orange flavor on this one, as well as a little bit of a grapefruit pithiness. And this is this is where it's a little bit different for me because I don't remember IPA number five giving off any kind of a vanilla taste. And I know that because this one has lactose in it and I'm trying to pick it up and I can pick up a little bit of a vanilla taste in this beer, definitely coming from the lactose. You know, and it doesn't deter from it. Is it an exact replica of IPA number five, in my own opinion? No, it's not. I don't think, um, like I said, I don't believe IPA number five had any lactose. If I'm wrong, then I don't, then maybe I just don't remember it as well as I think I do. Um, IPA number five, as I recall, had a little bit more of a drying finish on this one. This one is sweet through and through. So is IPA number five, but at the very end it dried out. This one, I think because of the lactose, it's staying sweet through and through, and it's not really giving me a drying or bitter finish at the end. And I like it. Don't get me wrong. This is damn freaking tasty. And I suggest, if you guys haven't tried IPA number 15, I'd go out and get this all day long. I bought a couple of cans of this, and if it's still around in the next few days, I'm going to uh, probably grab a bunch of it. The problem with, the, uh, with these IPA numbers coming from Collective Arts they get, they're usually one and done's, and then they jump to 16, then 17, then 18, and so forth, but, and they don't really stick around. I kind of hope this one sticks around longer than it's going to, because you know what? This is a, definitely 100% of a summer crusher, not, not a winter crusher, like I'm about to crush this. And if I crush this, I'm going to be hammered. Anyway, guys, six, uh, six, what are we, six minutes and almost seven minutes into the video. In my own opinion, IP number 15 from Collective Arts is fantastic. I don't think it's an exact replica of 15, which some people were demanding they redid. Eh, I want to see that. I'd rather see them do Liquid Arts Fest. I want to see that one come back. That'd be dynamite. But anyway, I'm done with my own opinion. Fuck, this is dangerous. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, click the like down below. If you want to subscribe, go right ahead and hit that notification bell. You guys can see whenever I drop videos. It's not as often as I like, but... I try to do what I can. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye. Thanks for watching.